Welcome to the Cyclos 4 instruction videos. In this videos we will give you a quick overview of how to configure Cyclos 4. The core Cyclos concepts will be explained in this videos. In the other videos we will log into Cyclos and explain how to do the actual configuration. One of the core concepts in Cyclos 4 are networks. A network can be compared with a complete Cyclos 3 installation. But in Cyclos 4 you can create multiple networks within one Cyclos installation. This is nice because now all communities can be hosted within one Cyclos installation. A network can have its own URL, its own currency and its own members, completely isolated from the other networks. A network can, however, be connected with other network to the system. For example, in the system we can create one global account type which can be accessed by both networks. Now this is not possible yet and all networks are completely independent. Now let's explain another important concept in Cyclos. Another important concept are groups, group sets and users. You can see them here in the vertical. Uh, a, a user is the one who logs into Cyclos and a user always belongs to a group. Actually a user is grouped into groups. Groups can be grouped into group sets. It's just a logical division. So for example, we can have a group called gold members, a group called silver members, and a group called bronze members. Uh, group sets can be, for example, uh, Dutch members and English members. So you have one group, Dutch group set, Dutch members, containing Dutch gold members, Dutch silver members, and Dutch bronze members. And in these groups, you have the users. We make this division into groups and group sets to easily give users permissions. Because if we should have given all the permissions directly to the users, we would have to do a lot of configuration. Now, because we can give permissions to a group or to a group set, it will be much easier to configure the system. Um, well, as I already said a little bit, the permissions of users are given through products. For example, if we want a user to have a certain profile field, for example, birthday, we attach the profile field to the product and then we can attach this product to a user. If we attach this product to a user, then only this user will have this prof profile field. If we would have attached this product to this group, then all users in this group would have had this profile field and the same counts for the group set. Also users can get permissions to access certain kind of accounts through products. For example, if we have in the system one member account, here we have a member account, we associate this member account with a product. Uh, we also give uh, some permissions in the product to do payments with this member account. And then we associate this product to a certain group set. Then all groups and all users that belong to this group set can view this account type and do these payments we configured in the product. Well, that's the product part. So the products give the permission to all the users, but we also have the configurations. And configurations we can uh, we can assigned to group sets and to groups. Uh, configurations can only be set, you can only set one configuration to a group or to a group set, but you can assign multiple products to a, uh, to a group or uh, to a group set. For example, if you have two, two products assigned to a user and in one product the user is allowed to have five profile images and in another product the user is allowed to have 10 pr uh, profile images, the user will be able to have in total 10 profile images. So you can only set one configuration to a group or to a group set. The reason for that is as follows. In the configuration you can set everything that the user can only have one of. For example, the user can only have one default country and the user can only have one layout. Uh, so all those kind of things can be configured in the configuration. The configurations, on the other hand, can be extended. So you can have a child and a parent configuration. And the uh, child configuration inherits 
values of the parent configuration. So, for example, if we set uh, the default country uh, to be England in the parent configuration, the default country in the child configuration will also be England, but we can change some other values. Uh, and the, the values we change will not be the same as the parent uh, values, but the values that remain unchanged will just inherit the values from the parent configuration. Okay, well, that are almost all the core concepts. Uh, if you understand this clearly, then now it's time uh, to start configuring Cyclos yourself. Thank you for watching this video.